go in the middle, because it's confident, right? All right. So yes, my name is Bryony Gunson. I'm a former digital marketer, now professional hippie. I'm a meditation teacher. I'm also a mindset coach and a breathwork facilitator. And when I was talking to Kirsty about you know, this conference, what really struck me when I was reflecting more about what it is to be confident, two things came up for me, and some of that's been touched upon already. And this really ties beautifully into meditation because meditation actually means to become familiar with. It's when we have the opportunity to slow down. Who here finds it hard to slow down? Yeah, <laughs> especially with all that coffee in you. Thank you, Nespresso. The chance to slow down and to start to witness and observe like just what is going on. And you probably noticed as Kieran was prancing around the room, you could notice within yourself, oh, he might come to me. I might be invited to speak. You probably started to notice some of the fixed mindset starting to pop up for you. And so in this practice we're going to do together today, it's the opportunity to drop in, to integrate, and to connect to those two parts of confidence that I feel speak to me. And one of them is vulnerability. When people come up on stage and share their stories, the most impactful ones are where people are really expressing their vulnerability. Showing up just as they are and actually asking to be accepted. You know, can you see me? Do you see me? Am I enough? And I feel that if we can turn that attention inwards and ask ourselves those same questions, you know, do I see me? Do I hear me? Do I think I'm enough? Who here experiences thoughts where you're trash talking yourself, you're tearing yourself down? Yeah. In the last few months, I've been going through a lot of personal change, and recently I had a thought come up you're a fucking piece of shit. I asked Kirsty if I could swear. <laughs> I said, You're a fucking piece of shit. Ooh, hello. <laughs> and because I'm used to sitting with myself and I'm used to observing and noticing those kind of thoughts, I know that I can just go, okay, <laughs> hello, and start to just watch that. Rather than it's being in the driving seat and taking me on a sharp turn away from my desires. The other aspect of confidence that I feel really speaks to me is around courage. You know, to show up just as we are, to speak our stories, to share our truth, to take action on that 1% that was mentioned. And so I thought together as a group, we could be both vulnerable and courageous, if you're up for it, because we're going to do a big meditation practice together. Who here is new to meditation? If you've not tried meditation before, you can raise your hand. Yeah, nice. And who here has never done a group meditation before? Hands up nice and high. Boom. So for those of you, it's your first ever meditation practice. You're pretty badass because you're like you're doing it in a room with 600 people. So that's pretty cool. And although we're going to explore vulnerability, know that you have that support and community. You know, Kieran mentioned that that often there's a confidence that comes when there's a togetherness. And so even if there's a part of you that starts to chime in, like, oh, this is silly, this is hippie woo-woo stuff, like just noticing that. And how often is that kind of thinking blocking you from trying new experiences? So noticing the judgment, the preconceptions about meditation that are there, and just giving it your best shot. So your first act of vulnerability, if you're up for it, will be to get your body ready. So actually legs uncrossed, feet flat on the earth. Yeah, give you a moment to shuffle around on your chairs. Beautiful. And when you feel ready to do so, you can actually gently close down your eyes. If you really feel like having your eyes open, that's actually okay as well. Just inviting a soft gaze to come in so you're not looking at anything in particular. 
And the reason why we close down the eyes is so much stimulation comes in through the eyes and stimulates the brain. So when we close down the eyes, it means that you have more of that focus, that attention. Your superpower, that conscious awareness, you have more of that for you. And you exist within this body. And so to deepen the connection to this body in this present moment, we're going to take some belly breaths together. Now you may hear the other people around you breathing. And you can be happy for them because it means that they're alive. <laughs> so notice any shyness about being heard breathing. And can that be okay? Because we're going to be courageous and we're going to be vulnerable. And so let's do a short exhale out through the mouth to start. And then breathing in through the nose. Take your time, filling up the body with this breath. As you come to the top of that inhale, let the exhale flow. We're just starting to stretch out the lungs a bit. So take your time, breathing in again in your own rhythm, own pace. Deep breath fully in and releasing and letting go. Another breath again, no rush, no hurry. Take your time, flaring out the nostrils deeply in and releasing, lovely. We'll do one more breath like this, opening up the shoulders a little bit more to invite more breath, deeply, fully into the body, all the way in and letting go. Just letting your breathing normalize now. You might feel some dizziness or lightheadedness. That's actually really normal just the blood pressure changing in your body as you start to shift into a more restful state. And as you come into a place of stillness, you may suddenly notice the volume of the mind ramps up. And that's you becoming familiar with that self-talk. So letting yourself slow down and practicing being in that stillness. And to continue to connect to the body and to invite a more open mind, we're actually going to invite the body to also open up as well. So still staying connected with the eyes closed if that feels available to you going to scan down, bring your mental tension, attention and focus to the forehead. So noticing the space between the brows. Is there a knot between the brows there? Is there a furrow? Seeing if you can relax and soften through the eyebrows. And noticing the eyelids. Are you squeezing the eyelids? In fact, let's squeeze the eyelids closed for a moment. So scrunching up the face and then releasing. Yeah, beautiful. Scanning down also across the cheeks and the jaw. Let's open up the mouth here and give the jaw a little waggle left and right. Maybe it's the first time you've actually stretched out the face today. So much emotion is expressed through the face. Don't be afraid to Jim carry it. <laughs> Pull some odd and weird and wonderful faces for a moment just to stretch out the face. You're doing really well. We're gonna focus just a little bit more. You're nearly there. Let's scan down across the shoulders. Is there maybe just a, a millimeter or two more that they can drop down? Yeah, you might naturally notice some wiggling start to come through. You're like, oh yeah, I need to sort of give myself a little bit of movement. Let that happen. We're gonna flow down across the chest now. And let's take a big deep breath fully in. Can you feel the chest open up and expand? Often when we're feeling confident, the body opens up and we feel this opening through the chest. And let's bring your awareness, keep flowing down to the belly. Noticing, are you holding the belly in? Often in our culture, there's a lot of judgment and shame about this part of the body and subconsciously we're holding the belly in. And when we do that, we limit how much breath we can take in. And if we limit how much breath we can take in, we limit how much life we can take in. So releasing that lower belly, 
And now let's allow your awareness to flow down across the legs, all the way down, and finally becoming aware of the feet. And you can give your toes a little wiggle, a little celebratory, we did it. It's almost like the toes are waving hello to the mind. And still staying in this place of stillness, I'll invite you to take your hands and place one on your lower belly, around about the belly button, and the other hand on the chest, on the center of your chest. See if you can really push your palms into your body, like, I am here. You feel this connection to your body. And as the final part of this practice, I'll invite you to take a deep breath in to that hand that's resting on your chest, signifying that connection to your courage, to that heart space. The word courage being linked to the French word for heart, core. Taking a deep breath in, can you feel how the heart has more space when the lungs expand? Can you feel that? And taking another deep breath in, connecting with your awareness to that hand that's on the lower part of your belly, this vulnerable part of the body, our emotional center. Can you release the belly and take a long, luxurious, deep inhale here. And give yourself permission to be vulnerable. Can it be okay to be vulnerable? Noticing what comes up for you, any resistance that's there, perhaps even any emotion that comes up. And still staying connected to your body, but allowing your awareness to expand. And still, even with the eyes closed, you can have a sense of there's other bodies in this space. There are other human beings sharing this space with you, sharing this same breath. A mentor once told me, when you meditate with your friends, they become your beautiful friends. So you now are surrounded and supported by 600 beautiful friends. And let's take another deep breath in together to start to seal this practice. It's big, nice, deep breath in your own time. You wanna hear each other breathe, maybe even yawn. Letting go. Still keeping the eyes closed, I'll invite you to bring your hands into a prayer position in front of the chest. And to peek your eyes open if you need to. And you're gonna rub your hands together up and down. So creating a bit of friction, a bit of heat. Yeah, beautiful. A bit, a bit faster, a little bit faster. And then we're gonna pause there, still keeping your hands together. And can you feel the heat between the hands? Really bringing your awareness to that warmth, to the tingling sensation. And now we're gonna part the hands about an inch or so, seeing if you can sense the space between the hands. Now we're gonna open them out a little bit wider and then close them. Open wider again and then closing them and maybe make a clap sound on your next one. And then again, and then, oh, hey, you can gently open your eyes as you're clapping yourself out of your meditation. <laughs> yeah. All right. You did it. Well done. Well done. And that was quite a long meditation, especially for those of you that are new. So kudos to you all. And as my beautiful friends, I wanted to offer you a gift. On my website, you'll see there, there is a free 40-minute guided breathwork journey where you have the opportunity to really connect to your body sensations through your felt sense, through that interoception. So you've got the QR code there and the, the URL, they're the same uh, place. And so you have the opportunity to connect more deeply to this body. And as we go through the day-to-day, -day, you know, continuing to reflect like how do messages land for you? 
but not just in the stories in the mind, but how does it feel in our bodies? Because emotions drive us into action. And if you're gonna take action on that 1%, are we moving towards our desires or towards our despair? And you get to decide what that is. And your body can be your guide. So thank you so much for joining me. Well done for connecting to your beautiful bodies and each other. And have a beautiful day. Thank you.